Hello, dear people, and welcome to Singing Dawn, a daily chant practice in the Benedictine spirit. I'm Ellen, and I welcome you here today. Today is day 91, help. So come on in, get yourself settled. Come aware of your breathing. helping you to live moment by moment. Notice the floor or the ground underneath you. Feel your feet in contact with the floor. Feel your weight falling through your feet into the ground. Notice the floor or ground helping you, supporting you. With your breath, notice your spine. We'll go back to something we did at the very beginning and rolling your spine by rolling forward and back on your sit bones and feeling that wave of the spine like seaweed in the tide. You can also go side to side with your breath. And notice how your spine helps you, supports you, holds you with astonishing flexibility and strength. And as you continue to breathe and join your awareness to your breath, notice your environment. Notice the world around you. Notice how the world helps you. How it comes right up to you. It meets up with you exactly where you are and as you are right here, right now. Bright morning stars arising, bright morning stars arising, bright morning stars So today we complete our week with the litany and the prayer of Jesus and the concluding sentences of Singing Dawn. Help seems to me to be the connective tissue of the week. After traveling the song lines of the chant which unite inner and outer reality suffusing us in all the cosmic praise and personal introspection of Singing Dawn. Now radiant and resonating with all of it, we end by asking for help. Even as we also acknowledge that this help has already been offered and is already being offered holding us and all of creation in being, moment by moment. So in the litany, we ask for help by way of surrendering ourselves to divine mercy. In the prayer of Jesus, we ask for help by way of daily bread, forgiveness, and protection. In the concluding sentences, we ask for the divine help to remain always and everywhere. The root of the Latin word for this help means to grow, to increase. Help is what enables us to grow. 
And the root of the Old English or Proto-Germanic word for help is related to these words, support, succor, benefit, do good to, cure, amend. I especially appreciate the last one, amend, and its use in the agricultural phrase, amending the soil. This process requires time, careful observation, humility, and wise and subtle cooperation with the vastly complex ecosystem that is Earth. Our practice this week makes clear that Singing Dawn has been about amending the soil of our lives. It's not a heroic, dramatic, one-shot deal. It's more like watching grass grow. It's not about accomplishment or perfection. It's about help. It's not the final solution, the static be-all and end-all. It's help. Help what's needed in the moment and nurtures what is so that it can evolve into the next thing, into the next living, unfolding moment, the next breath. When Carl Jung was an old man, one of his students read John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, and he asked Jung, what has your pilgrimage really been? And Jung answered, in my case, Pilgrim's Progress consisted in my having to climb down a thousand ladders till I could reach out my hand to the little clod of earth that I am. In chapter 58 of The Rule, Benedict articulates the three vows to be taken when committing one's whole self and entire life to the community. And those vows are vows of deep listening, stability, and conversatio morum, the Latin phrase, meaning something like ongoing conversion or transformation of ways or habits of being. This sounds like soil amendment to me. Continuity and change are in dynamic balance here, calibrated by deep listening step by step, day by day, night by night, on the spinning earth with circling moon, sculpting a dance of belonging around the sun. And at every moment, with every turn, help is right at hand. Chanting aerates the soil of us. It increases the flow of nutrients through us. Chanting bolsters our capacity to harbor the water of the spirit. It helps us metabolize the shining, life-giving energy of the divine. It amends the soil of us. It helps us help others grow. So I'd like to try chanting the little verse and response before the final one. I'll share the screen. The little one, let us bless the Holy One, thanks be to God. And 
as we do that, I'd like you to focus on what helps you chant. What helps you be helped in the chant? Let us bless the Holy One. Thanks be to God. So I'm going to suggest just three practical, technical things that help us chant. The first is groundedness. Talked about the ground supporting us at the beginning. So as you sing, actively press your feet into the floor, into the earth, so you have a steady base from which to support the breath. Try it. Let us bless the Holy One. And that pressing down and out is actually going through your feet, through your thighs, and through the pelvic floor, and through the diaphragm. Try it again. Let us bless the Holy One. So that the singing is that full body experience. And that groundedness makes possible both air flow and compression. So you're going to blow the sound out of your body and it needs to be compressed. Try it. Let us bless the Holy One. Thanks be to God. So groundedness makes possible airflow and air force, air compression. And the third one is resonance. That along with this sense of being connected and supported and grounded, we also need a sense of freedom and being enlivened so we can pick up those vibrations easily. In our flesh, in the pool of our feelings, in our thoughts, open mind, loose mind, and in our soul. Let's try it one more time. Let us bless the Holy One. Thanks be to God. So an awareness that as we sing, we are being helped and we are helping. We are helping ourselves, we're helping one another and helping the cosmos at large. So let's move into the full flow of our practice, attentive, listening for the help that is already waiting for us.
Receive. Release. And offer. Thank you very much for showing up today for your help day by day on this journey. I'm so grateful. See you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>